So today is the third video in our hip osteoarthritis series. So let's get right down to it. What exercises should I be doing now that I have hip, hip osteoarthritis? Stella can tell you more about it. Well, watch this video to learn how to improve your hip osteoarthritis with a natural solution exercise. Now, could you do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you're notified of all of our content? It'd be great if you could do that. So what exercises should I do with osteoarthritis of the hip? Well, by the end of this video, you'll know the best exercises to do for your hip. The natural solution of exercise is one of the best things that you can do. My name is Stephen Dunn. I'm a physical therapist. I've helped thousands of people with this condition over my 23 year plus career as a physical therapist. And I look forward to helping you as well. Now I will say these exercises are being built into sequence based on some stretches and some release work and some other exercises. So if you find those other videos and do those first, it would help the whole series go better. All right, so we're gonna do three ex exercises from laying on your back and we are gonna use props for this. The first prop we're gonna use is called a Pilates flex ring or a magic circle. Now that's a very specific prop that we're gonna use. If you don't have one of those, it's okay. We're gonna also use a small ball and a TheraBand. It's actually like a, a Thera loop, we'll call it. So a looped band. So I'm gonna show you both these exercises with both. The, um, with the Pilates ring, we're gonna first start off with a little uh, squeezing the ring between the knees. So we're gonna have to spread the legs a little bit wider there. Yep. There we go. Are you comfortable there with that, Cheryl? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna take an inhale, Cheryl. And as you exhale, tighten your abdominal muscles and squeeze that ring together. So now we're strengthen strengthening those inner thigh muscles, the adductors. And we're gonna do a set of 10. We're gonna start with a set of 10 and we're gonna progress up to three sets of 10. Now, again, another option is a ball between the knees. This ball is kind of small. It can be a volleyball. It can be a basketball between the knees. It can be a paper towel roll, a pillow between the knees. Those are just some different options and things to use. Good, two more, Cheryl. And I have no idea how many that is, but we're gonna say that's number 10 and relax from there. Now, a couple ways to do it around the knees. You can just drape it around the knees like that, or you can actually step into it like it's a pair of shorts. We're just gonna drape it around the knees like that for now. Take an inhale, Cheryl. As you exhale, open the legs. So now we're strengthening the outer thighs. I'm sorry, the outer hips, the hip abductors. Uh -huh. And so in the last video, we did this laying on your side, lifting the leg with the two pound weight. And now we're doing them together with a little different resistance with the band. Now I am gonna put this on her in just a moment. Two more of those, Cheryl. And last one, good. And relax from there. So the next, we're not gonna, um, I'm gonna show you another option. And again, if you have a TheraBand, it, it can be just tied and looped together. This is an actual loop. There we go. All right, so from here, Let's take an inhale, and as you exhale, we're gonna open. So again, it's the same thing we were just doing, just showing it with a different device. That's it. All right, the last one we're gonna do now is a bridge. All right, I'm gonna pull this off. Now we're gonna put the little ball between the knees. It can be the little ball, it can be the basketball, whatever it is. I'm gonna have her squeeze the ball as she lifts her rear end in the air, strengthening the hip extensors or the glutes. Inhale, lower, and then exhale as she lifts. And the last video showed each exercise being having to be done individually. Here they're being done together in unison, both sides. And so pay attention. See if you can notice a difference between the right or the left glute. Pay attention when you're squeezing or opening if you can notice a difference between any of those motions. And again, we're gonna start with 10 reps and we're gonna build our way up to doing three sets of reps over the course of the next one to two weeks. All right. Now we're gonna to move to some standing exercises. So now we're doing a glute medius strengthener with the magic circle. So you're gonna take the magic circle and place one end touching the wall and the other end is gonna go right in that crease of your head. And it's just kind of propped there. You're not leaning into it to hold it. It's just kind of wedged between you and the wall. 
And you want to stand completely upright, equally weighted on your feet. Take an inhale, stand up nice and tall. And as you exhale, just laterally shift your hips into the magic circle. Inhale, allow it to come back. And exhale, shift, pushing the circle. So I'm only trying to move my pelvis towards the wall and keeping my head and feet right where they started. And you should start to feel this exercise on the outside of the hip. That's the outside leg. You wanna do this about 10 times. So if you don't have the magic circle, you can also use just a small ball. Same thing, you wanna put the ball in between your hip and the wall and just gently kind of push your hip into the ball. And that works very similar to the magic circle and that strengthens this outside leg. So another strengthener that I have for that outside leg is just stand with your shoulder touching the wall, the leg that's close to the wall, bring it up and push that knee into the wall. And as you're pushing that knee and shoulder into the wall, you'll again start to feel the work on the outside of the hip. This is the hardest of all three. And, I knew you missed that. <laughs> so now I've taken the TheraBand and I've placed it around my ankles. And from here, what you're going to do, or that Thera loop that Stephen was talking about earlier, and you're going to step and bring it in. Step over and bring it in. And this is actually working both hips. So you'll take it over about three or four steps and then just take it back. Stepping over and stepping in. So comment below and tell me how this video has helped you. Tell me how any of my videos on hip osteoarthritis has helped you or taught you something that you can do to help your day-to-day -day life. Now I want you to go to Amazon and download my book, Retrain the Brain to Solve Back Pain. Yeah, the book's about back pain, but everything in it is very beneficial for someone who's experienced hip arthritis, especially chapter number four. That's a fantastic exercise routine to do for someone with hip, arthrit hip arthritis. <laughs> if you live in Austin, stop by at our studio and take one of our Pilates reformer classes or our gyrotonic tower classes. And that's it for today, guys. And me and Stella are off. Y'all have a fantastic day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>